Hey, if you want to know the four keys to turning dreams into reality, you're listening to the right episode of the Loan Officer Leadership Podcast. I am your host, Steve Kyles. We're powered by the Mortgage Marketing Animals, and you are in for a treat today. I've got a great friend, uh, one of the coaches here with the Freedom Club. He's been a part of the Freedom Club for eight years. He's been a coach now for a year and a half with American Mortgage Solutions. He's a broker owner. Uh, Brady also runs our Brokers Brunch, which is a huge uh, asset to our mortgage marketing animals uh, team. And so he's running a brunch that is specifically designed for brokers. Him and Tony got a great team. And we have a guest, Brady Webb. What's up, brother? Hey, Steve. How you doing, bro? Good to see you again. Sorry I missed you guys last week out in uh, Tahoe. Yeah, well, I got to tell you, we are so I'm excited about today's episode. Uh, you and I have become friends over the last year and a half as I've joined the marketing animals. And man, you are a phenomenal coach, uh, a great business operator. And today, man, we're going to be talking about four keys uh, to turning your dreams into a reality, man. What's up? That's yeah. awesome. Dude, I, I, you know what? Every day I get up is just a new opportunity. And, uh, you know, here's here's one thing I always say. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. And, uh, you know, I just wake up with that mentality every single day. Uh, man, I love it. Hey, and, you know, one of the cool things about not only are you a great coach, uh, over the last year, year and a half, I've actually watched you transform your business. You were primarily in Kentucky. And over the last year and a half, you've been able now to grow a footprint in seven states and, um, you know, growing your business in, in uh, Florida. I think you've even moved to Florida now, still running your business in Kentucky and uh, excited to hear your story. So for those of our listeners who are, are, are meeting you for the first time, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. How'd you get in the business? How'd you get to where you are? Yeah, so you know, I started my company. I was always, I was always kind of an entrepreneurial type, and I always wanted to do something on my own. And after spending ten years in a uh, a bit with a big bank and running uh, several different operations for them, I was just like, you know, I want something different. So in 1998, I said, you know, I'm going to get my broker's license. And I was already familiar with lending, but um, really didn't know the mortgage industry that well. But I started my company in 1998. In Shelbyville, Kentucky, where I'm from, grew up as a farm boy up there. My family still owns the farms, and uh, and from there, uh, I just you know I just got up every single day and you know put one leg in at a time in my pants. Went to work, used to wear a suit all the time. I got away from that, but you know it's just staying consistent and having a plan and working the plan. And you know the things that you dream about will eventually show up in front of you. If you just focus on them and do what's needed every single day. And, you know, I always say, you know, if you have a dream, uh, you got to chase it because the dreams won't chase you back. And uh, you just got to stay positive. You got to surround yourself with good people. And uh, yeah, so, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, maybe four things that can help people on this call today that are listening that might help them, um, you know, chase their dreams, have their dreams become a reality. But I was able to move myself, you know, and, and back to my dreams. My dream was always one day when my kids got out of school and, you know, I got to this point in my life where I'm now an empty nester. I always wanted to move to Florida. I always wanted to live on a saltwater canal in Florida. And, um, you know, I always water is like my happy place. That's where I can like, I can recharge my batteries. I just, you know, I just forget about everything when I'm, when I'm around the water. And so I just focused on that and I just kind of kept like thinking it through, putting the plan in place. And then eventually, you know what? I'm living in Florida full time. I have an office in Florida. Like you said, I'm in seven states now. I just keep looking for those opportunities that I focus on. And before you know it, it just happens. And you know what? You got to just got to take a chance too. And I've always, I've always been that guy that I'm always, I'm always willing to help somebody. I'm always willing to give. And, um, you know, helpers get and givers give. So um, I, that's just, again, it's just, I couldn't do it without the, without all the good people that I've surrounded myself with in life, especially this group, the Mortgage Marketing Animals, made a huge difference. I joined in December of uh, 2014, met Carl and Tammy at the War Room in Dunedin, Florida. 
And um, in that group, I met some of the most amazing people they are my best friends today. They're like my family, Rex Robinson, Paul Dolan, yeah. Tony Taylor, mm-hmm. Carl, Tammy. I mean, we, we actually, and I'm leaving some people out. Brad Walker's another one. But guys, I will tell you, if you're listening to this podcast, whether it's the mortgage marketing animals or it's someone else, just find somebody to co- collaborate with on a daily basis. And uh, I tell you what, it'll, it'll, your business will take off and your life will take off and your friendships will take off like a rocket ship. I love it. Well, and it goes back to life moves at the speed of relationships, man. We are where we are today because of the people we've chosen to connect with, man. And it's, that's, that's a really cool concept. Hey, well, talk to us today. So you're going to talk about what are the four things that have helped you turn dreams into realities? Okay. So one, I just kind of mentioned, are you, you got to surround yourself with good people, people that you can co- uh, collaborate with on a daily basis. And, you know, that's one of the things we talk about in our group, the mortgage marketing animals is, you know, the power of the group is the people in the group, really. It's, mm. it's, you know, we have, we have a great plan that, you know, we can help people grow their business. We've got, uh, you know, just like the event, we have amazing events where everybody shares, but it, it's really getting to know the people that are in the group and, and becoming friends with them and using them as part of your team to help you through situa- any situation that you might have, whether it's, you know, you need more traffic, you need better systems and processes, whatever it is. So, you know, one is find some good people uh, to surround yourself with. And look, it doesn't, it, it can be other things. It, be, it could be Steve Kyle's podcast, Loan Officer Leadership. Uh, it could be Ed Milet. You know, I listen to all kinds of podcasts because I love the positivity and it just creates, it actually helps me be more creative and thought provoking. It just, it, you got to educate yourself. You really do. You just got, you got to continue to invest in yourself. And that's actually one of my things. So the other thing is to have a plan. And we always talk about having a plan. Now, you know, we always say you either got no plan or you have a plan and it's, you know, it stinks or it doesn't work. And then, uh, you do, or you have a plan and it's a great plan, but you're not executing it or you're actually, you know, the fourth thing would be, you're looking for something other than one, two, three, no plan, a plan that doesn't work, or you got a great plan, but you're not executing it. So yeah. with us, we have a great plan. We, the mortgage marketing animals can give you a plan and, but you got to execute it. So what I'm focusing on right now is I'm surrounding myself with great people. Uh, we have a plan. I want to continue to execute the plan. And, you know, we're always looking for ways to improve on the plan. And most of the time, Steve, uh, it's investing in your people, which is the other th- the number three for me, mm-hmm. is you got to invest in yourself and your team. And when we're in markets like we're in right now, where the business is just not falling in your lap, you have to get better. You really do. You got to you got to continue to sharpen your skills you got to train your team. You got to train yourself so that you can be a good leader. And then you actually have to lead your team. Um, if not, then who is? I mean, so, and then the last thing is in this market, you always got to be looking for opportunities. Mm, so, uh, and there are, it's like, uh, you know, you had a great podcast with one of my good friends, Ray Robinson, I just, met, uh, that I just listened to and mentioned and, you know, he, he was talking about seasons and he's yeah. so right. Every, you know, we're just in a different season seasons. You know, there's four seasons a year. I don't know how many seasons we have in the mortgage business, but there's always when the market changes or, you know, inventory is now low inventory used to be high. You know, there's uh, more sellers or whatever the season is. You just got to find the different opportunities. So that's the other thing that we're always looking for. And the biggest thing is I'm teaching my, and I'm, I'm actually working with my staff right now. It's just to stay positive. Part of that investing in myself and my team is to stay positive, not only with my team, because, you, you know, everybody wants to know it's, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Everybody feels the pinch right now and a little bit of pressure because the market has slowed down. So they want to know it's going to be okay. And you know what? Our referral partners want to know the same thing. So let me ask you this, Steve. I got a question for you. So 
doesn't it make you feel better when you're listening to whatever podcast you listen to other than yourself? <laughs> but when you're listening to like pod, when you're listening to podcasts that are positive, um, you know, they're encouraging, you just get off that. When you get done, you just, you just, you have a whole different mindset. Yeah. Uh, you, you feel like you've, there's hope, even though you might, have, you might be having a really bad day or you feel like, oh my God, you know, I don't know how I'm going to do this anymore. But then you, you listen to something or you talk to somebody or have a conversation. And then all of a sudden now you're like, you've got this new energy. Well, yeah. our agent part. So what I'm telling my people is, look, our agents are looking for that positivity and that energy because they're hearing all this negative news um, that's, you know, that you, that you can hear, if you want to listen to it, you can, you can, you, you can find it anywhere, but let's, let's be a, let's be a ray of sunshine to these people. Let's be positive. Let's tell them, Hey, you know, we're going to get in the trenches with you. We, we want to help you get an extra closing in the next 30 to 45 days. Who have you talked to in the last month, the three months that you've lost touch with, or, you know, lost contact with, or maybe, you know, didn't get approved. Who can we call for you? Give me three names. Give me three names, Mr. Realtor, because I want to get in the trenches with you and I want to help you get at that extra deal. And then we also jump in and, and we work with them and say, what's your plan right now? Mm. So we basically, those four things I'm talking about is we talk to our agents now about, you know, surround yourself with good people. There's tons of great podcasts realtors can listen to. Yep. Just like, you know, mortgage professionals, we have people that we listen to, like your podcast, Carl's podcast, uh, or, you know, any of the podcasts, but we got to educate ourselves so we can educate them. And again, I'm big, 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 big on helpers get and givers give. Mm. That's good, man. Well, hey, and listen, a couple of things on even having a plan. That's what I love about the daily success plan. You know, it, it in our industry, we already know what works and what's producing results. And so many times, if we just share what's working for us, it gives agents the opportunity to see, hey, if there's consistency in the outbound calls, consistency in the face-to-face, -face, consistency in asking for the business, it inspires them to keep on and keep doing more as well. I love it. So number one, surround yourself with good people. That's a tribe, brother. Yep. Number two, have a great plan. And, and execute the plan. You got to execute, execute the plan. You hey, and what are you doing when you do, like, how, how are you motivating yourself when you don't feel like executing the plan? Man, that's a great question. You know what? I just, I don't have a lot of problem motivating myself for some reason. <laughs> you just do it. You know what? I, I think it. it goes, I think, it, have you ever read the book, Atomic Habits? Yeah, James Clear, great You know, book, I man. think it's kind of like uh, getting up and going to the gym in the morning. You know, that's, that's the first thing I do every single day. And I never, I'm never unmotivated to go to the gym mm. because you know why? I've been doing it so long. It's a habit and yeah. I feel bad if I don't do it. Mm. So I don't need motivation to do it. It's almost like going, my, what I do every single day is not work. It's fun. I it's like that. a game for me. And I just think, you know, my dad, a long time ago, I have two brothers, older and younger, and we've all done really well in life. And I think it's because uh, the way we grew up on a farm, we didn't have any choice. We had to get up. We had to get up and work. Uh, I mean, that's, you know, basically everything we ate, we grew or killed. And we didn't have any choice but work. And so it instilled that work ethic at a very young age. It created those habits, mm -hmm. those habits that I'm talking about. And I was, I'm blessed. I'm blessed that, you know, my parents, that's the way they raised me. Yeah. But my job is not, I'm always motivated to, to get up in the morning. Okay, what can I do today to make things better for my team, my clients, and myself? I love it. Well, it, you know, and it goes back into turning dreams into reality is really a vision. You know, it's, it's easy to stay motivated when you know where you're going. So there may be bumps in the road, but, but, but when you see where you're going, it's easier to keep pushing. And I love that. I just, I, I wrote that down. Just get up. 
Just get up. Yeah. That's it, Just baby. Just get started. Just get, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, let me ask you this. As you're helping coach some of the, the loan officers in our organization, what, what are the things you're, you're, you're seeing as well? Is there anything else you're seeing that there, there's some wins or any encouragement or anything else you want to share? Yeah. So, you know, when I'm, again, there's no silver bullet and there's, no, there's never a silver bullet. Everybody, you know, you'd like to be able to find one, but there's not a silver bullet. And what I'm finding with my coaching clients and what we are focusing on when we talk um, each month is what's your plan? How's your plan working? What wins are you having? How can we, what do we need to adjust in your plan? Uh, I think I heard something. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, the old days back and when you had the, uh, you know, my first car was a 1967 Mustang, and, you know, the stereo in it, you would have to like turn every now and then, you know, the little thing would slide across the screen, trying to tune the station. And, you know, every now and then you'd have to like, just tweak it just a little bit to get, get the music to come in really clear instead of having all that static. Well, it's the same with our plan every yeah. now and then, even though we have a great plan, it's easy to kind of get off course sometimes or maybe change the conversation that, you know, change the wording in our conversation. We don't realize we've done it. So just looking for those little tweaks. Okay, wait a minute. We're getting a little bit off the, you know, we're getting a little bit off course here. Let's like pull it back in and really dial it back in so that our plan will work and it does work. So with me, I'm just focusing on staying positive with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want them to be positive with their referral partners. I can't stress. I really, I feel really strong about that. You've got to be a breath of fresh air and give these people hope because a lot of people don't have, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they're not like you and I, Steve, where we, we wake up every morning and we try to, I mean, not that we don't get, we cannot, that we can't be negative or everything or have maybe negative self-talk, but, you know, we flick that little gal off our shoulder probably quicker than some people do. Yeah, but you got to really stay positive with our referral partners when they see that and they feel that and they, you know, they 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 see the sincerity that you really want to help them. Then, dude, that's 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 right there. It's gold. That's when you start really building those relationships and they know they've got the right person working with them. But, you know, to answer your question again, just I'm just focused on making sure that they they're using their plan. They're executing their plan. And I tell you, the other thing, too, that I see is you can't go it alone. When I say you can't go it alone, we talked about listening to podcasts, being involved in a group like this. But you also got to have good people. And if you're yeah. trying to do it all yourself, now's a great time to go find some help. Yeah, There's tons of help out there, yeah. uh, tons of talent. So you got to have a good team in place. And, uh, you know, that's the one of the things. The other thing that we help people with, you, you, know, you can only do so much as one person. And you can't be scared to hire because, again, that's another way to invest. Not only, you know, that you can invest, you invest in yourself by getting people to help you execute your plan. Hey, and talk about that. You know, you've done a great job as you've continued to grow this last year. What do you talk about hiring good people? What does that look like for you? Well, you know, I'm all, again, that's part of always looking for opportunities. Opportunities are great people. Opportunities are new markets opportunities and new referral relationships, but the, I constantly have my ads running on wise hire. Now I don't always look to see what's in there, but every time I run into somebody or uh, somebody picks, actually a lot of people pick up the phone, call me and which I'm very fortunate to have that happen, but I'm always looking for an opportunity. And when I do that, I've learned over the years, I've made a ton, tons and tons of bad hires. I've kind of learned how to, I guess, do a better job of evaluating someone. But yeah. I think the most important thing is I'm very clear and concise on what I'm looking for and what I'm not looking for. And I have that conversation with the person up front and I can now I'm, I'm a lot better about um, recognizing whether or not the person that's on the other end of the line is a opportunity is a unicorn and an opportunity for me to actually uh, bring somebody else on my team. Um, you know, my team, I have, I think I'm up to like 15 employees right now. Yeah. And, uh, but I've, but I've structured my team in a way from a compensation standpoint to where, you know, I'm able to grow my team and not explode my PL with, um, payroll expense. 
So it's given me the ability to grow and also mean be profitable. But the biggest part of that is when you bring people on, you really got to have a clear plan with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, be very uh, upfront about what their goals and their duties are. And, you know, that we're giving, I'm giving you an opportunity and what you do with the opportunity is up to you. It's not my responsibility to make sure you have a job. It's your responsibility to make sure you take this opportunity and get results for yourself. Because I want my people to be super successful. And I want them to have any opportunity that they want within my company and to grow within my company. And I'm just very upfront about all that. I love it. Hey, and if you're listening and you you say, I want help with it, um, do a strategy call, freedomplanningcall.com. We'd love to help you with it. If you're a member of the Mortgage Marketing Animals, uh, you know, even as you were talking about hiring and bringing on people and growing your team, you know, members of the Mortgage Marketing Animals actually have access to the templates that Kristen and so many of our people are already using. I'm using uh, to hire great people. And so make sure you're logging in uh, to get access to it. And if you say, hey, I'd love help with it, book a strategy call. We'd love to show you how we can help you as you're growing your team uh, in today's market. And that's at freedomplanningcall.com. So, Hey, Brady, man, what a great, uh, you've got surround yourself with good people, have a plan, invest in yourself and your teams Mm -hmm. and constantly look for opportunities. You have any closing thoughts for us? No. And back to the whole growing your team, there's amazing talent. So don't be afraid to hire outside of your market. They don't have to be in your backyard. Hey, talk about that. You know, that's something that talk about that. What do you mean by that? Yeah. So, and you know, it takes, it, it took me a minute, Steve, to really learn how to uh, manage remote. And, and what I figured out is, you know, if you're just looking for people in your market that you want them to come into your office, which all of my people are remote. We don't, none of us are in the same office, but guess what we do every single day? We're all on a, everything I, every every day, the only way I communicate is video calls. And we use Skype. Some people use Teams, but we, we run our business basically with video. And I, the reason I do video, because it's better. I I like it a lot better than just picking up the phone and calling somebody and having a conversation. Um, It's, you actually get to know them almost like they're sitting in your office, but you can find that talent. You might find the talent. You know, I've got people in Ocala, Florida. I've got people in Sarasota, Louisville, Kentucky, Clarksville, Tennessee, down in Texas. I got somebody over in Virginia. Uh, I've got people everywhere and we we're all, we're all a big family. And it's almost like we work in the office together because we see each other every single day on video. And it's a great way. Somebody asked me the other day, so how do you train people when you're remote? Well, you call them up on Skype or Teams, or you can do a Zoom call and you share your screen. I like Skype and Teams because you can just click the button and it calls them. They pop up on your screen. Hey, Steve, you got got a second. I want to show you something that we missed on this. And let me share my screen real quick. Let me show you what I'm, and you know, you just basically, you train them and teach them and educate them just like you would if they're sitting in your office. I love it. Well, in, in remote, in today's environment, where they're at matters a lot less um, because of technology. And so what a great reminder. Uh, we're looking for people, not necessarily location. So Right. hundred like percent. Yeah. Love great it. people. Unicorns. We're looking unicorns, for unicorns, man. It, well, in today's market, too, I would encourage be quick to hire, be quick to fire and keep top grading to make sure you got the right players. So there's so many good people yeah. in the market right now. Yeah. Now, now's a great now's a great time to hire up. Yep. Hire up. Train. If you got somebody you, we, we always talk about. So if you want to if you're going to grade your employees, you're going to evaluate your employees uh, and you're on a scale of one to ten. You cannot use seven. And if you don't feel like they're eight or above, then it's probably time to hire up. Yeah, I would 100 percent agree. You know, it's it's not an easy thing because we feel so loyal. But it goes back to what you mentioned earlier. We're here to give opportunities. And so our opportunity is to be a high performing team that allows our loan officers to have great sales confidence and go get more transactions and deals. So Mm -hmm. Brady. I got to tell you, man, it's an honor to call you friend. Love having you here at the Freedom Club and being one of the coaches. And thank you for what you do. Uh, you know, the Brokers Brunch, you're also helping with the BDR class. And 
Uh, I hear there may be a podcast in, in the horizon uh, for brokers. And so, brother, thank you for all that you're doing here to make us better and to uh, be a huge contributor uh, to the marketing animals and to our community. So, man, I appreciate you. Well, man, I appreciate the opportunity to jump on here and, and share with you and share with everybody that's listening. And uh, again, if you uh, if you need some help, Steve, Steve put out the link out there for you guys. Call set up a time to talk with Ralph or, or Mike or somebody at the market. Yep. Yeah. The team, because you know what, this, this organization has changed my life and, and I just love giving back. They've given me so much. So I'm always willing to give back to Steve anytime I can. Well, love it, brother. And if you're listening today and you say, Hey, I'd love help with what Brady's been talking about, go to freedom planning call.com fill out a couple of pieces of information uh, we'd love to invest 45 minutes with you and help you build a clear plan in today's environment so that you can thrive and this can be just as great a year for you as it was last year and so again thank you brady thank you for everyone who's listening uh, make sure you do this subscribe to the podcast that way you get it each and every week uh, if you haven't done so already, would you give us a honest uh, review? We'd love to uh, to hear from you about what we're doing or how we're helping you. It helps us in the ranking. And the last thing is share this with two other loan officers you feel like can help uh, them in their business get better so that this year can be a breakout year. We just want to say thank you for being a part of our journey and story. Brady, thank you again for jumping on the podcast, my friend. And uh, remember this, anything worth doing, is worth doing badly. Just get started. See ya. See ya.